What is a home to you? A haven of rest? A sanctuary for peace and security? Or perhaps a necessity that can often take more out of your pockets than you'd expect? Well, if that's the case, then the rich are fortunate enough to have pockets deeper than you can imagine. While there are a lot of considerations for buying a nice, tidy place to call home, the rich consider one aspect above all others if the house does not look above all others. Frankly, if it's outstanding and looks like a billion dollars. Welcome to Luxo Life, your partner toward personal growth and success. Today, we're going to take a virtual tour inside some of the most expensive houses only the richest can ever have. But you can have one too if you dream big enough. Paying a few hundred million dollars for an over-the-top mansion is never a problem for the world's richest men. Hesitation for big purchases seems to be absent from their vocabulary. For some, a house is not just somewhere they can feel at comfort and rest with the ones that they love, but rather, a property that they can flex and brag to their friends. But who are we to judge when they can afford it anyway? That being said, let's take a tour of some of the richest people in the world's homes. Bill Gates From his time being founder and CEO at Microsoft, Gates has earned an international spotlight for himself and became one of the richest people in the world. So, of course, his billionaire house would be given the same spotlight as the others in this video. His luxury complex is named Sanadu 2.0 and it's a real beauty. Lake Washington in the Seattle area is home to some of the wealthiest people in the world, with Gates' 66,000 square foot mansion sitting in the same rich neighborhood as Jeff Bezos. As with the most beautiful things in life, Sanadu took time to build, specifically 7 years and of course 63 million dollars. You can't rush real art, and you definitely can't get it at a discounted price. Bill Gates paid $2 million for the land in 1988, but since the mansion was built, its estimated value has increased to more than $130 million. The property houses 8 bedrooms and with its 25 bathrooms, 6 kitchens, and a crazy dining room that can handle up to 200 people, it's more of a gathering place than a private home for real. Even more so, each room has touchpad-controlled lighting and automated climate and music controls. Now, if that isn't a party house, I don't know what that is. Even then, the super house is just one of Bill's three. He also purchased a sizable farm property from fitness guru Jenny Craig in Southern California that costs roughly $18 billion at 228 acres. This property has a racetrack, a guest house, an office veterinary suite, an orchard, and five at-home bars. Another horse farm owned by this man in Wellington, Florida was purchased for $8.7 million in 2013. This particular property was useful for his daughter Jennifer, who was an equestrian and had previously borrowed the house for her competitions. Jeff Bezos from founding one of the biggest corporations in the world, Amazon, in his garage to stepping down as CEO to become its executive chairman in 2021, a list of the richest won't be complete without everyone's favorite rich man. Jeff Bezos has a collection of properties worth noticing, from his humble home in Washington to the glorious New York City. Bezos is the 28th largest landowner in the United States, owning over five homes across the country, including two Beverly mansions sitting close to each other to an exclusive estate in the Seattle suburbs. Let's take a closer look at the properties our favorite rich man has in his collection. Two mansions in Medina alone stretch about 5.3 acres. While both homes include five bedrooms and four bathrooms, 
One is a 20,600 square foot house, while the other is an 8,300 square foot mansion and is said to have cost $53 million. And like in rich man fashion, of course, he'd also own properties in Beverly Hills. The first property size wasn't very appealing to Bezos, so he purchased the property just next to his first house in 2017 for $12.9 million. A little more humble than the first one, the humble home only has four bedrooms and spans 4,568 square feet. Remember the former president of Warner Brothers Studios, Jack Warner? He owned the Warner Estate, a mansion specially designed for him back in the 1930s. In the 1990s, however, David Geffen decided he wanted the estate. Fast forward to today, considering Bezos' most recent property purchase in Beverly Hills, the Warner Estate was bought for $165 million, making it the most expensive property sold in Los Angeles ever. Bezos purchased the mansion at the Old Textile Museum for $23 million, making it the biggest residence in Washington, D.C. Not to mention, the Obamas, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner live nearby. Back in the day in Washington, everything you buy within your marriage is joint property. These properties also belong to Mackenzie Bezos before their divorce. Although nobody is exactly sure how they divided those properties after their divorce in July 2019. Mark Zuckerberg with his work-from-home lifestyle, the Facebook founder's $320 million real estate portfolio is more than able to provide his needed quiet and isolation with that. In four different cities, Palo Alto, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Kauai Island in Hawaii, Zuckerberg owns 10 homes. In Palo Alto, Mark, his wife Priscilla, and their kids reside in a $7 million mansion. His primary residence is a wood-floored, 5,617-square-foot mansion with five bedrooms and five bathrooms that he paid $7 million for in 2011, just a year before their marriage. The home sits on a .41-acre lot. At first look, one may assume that Zuckerberg is living simply and not blowing through all of his riches like other billionaires because the mansion was constructed back in 1903. But don't be so quick to judge. The house may look simple, but the thing that makes it worth millions is the AI technology installed that looks something like out of a Marvel comic. The voice is even customized to sound like Morgan Freeman, and his closet has a built-in cannon that shoots gray t-shirts. Another perk of being filthy rich is you can buy an entire neighborhood if you want. In 2013, Zuckerberg spent over $10 million on an off-market property. Within that property, Mark bought four houses worth $30 million that surround his main residence, all that for privacy. He eventually added an office, a cinema room, a half bathroom, a laundry room, a wine cellar, and a wet bar to the house by spending an additional $1.6 million on renovations. Zuckerberg adores Hawaii and he shows no sign of stopping buying lands there. Currently, he owns 1,400 acres of land in the set, two of them being property plots in Kauai that the Facebook CEO paid a stunning $100 million for. The plan is to have 700 acres of property solely for lavish family vacations. Other than an operational organic farm for all your farming needs, the land spreads a 2,500 square foot of ocean view. Elon Musk the category is I'm rich, I'm allowed to buy whatever the heck I want, and the first contestant is Elon Musk. Well, that's what we'd expect from the co-founder and CEO of Tesla. However, at the beginning of June, Musk revealed that he's only in possession of one house right now and that his residence is a tiny box house he's renting from his rocket company, SpaceX, worth $50,000 after selling a majority of his assets and properties before moving to Texas just last 2020. 
but this tiny house still features some high quality characteristics. It comes with a full size kitchen, fully equipped with supplies from a dishwasher, an oven to a microwave. The bathroom even has a tub and backlit mirror and a sliding glass barn door. The living room is 375 square feet in size with huge windows, wide plank flooring, even heating and air conditioning units, all this with the promise of low utility bills. He has properties worth millions of dollars and is currently worth $187 billion. His properties in Los Angeles had a combined value of $72 million. In 2020, Musk tweeted that he'd own no house, and he proved this by selling six of his seven properties in December of 2020. We love a man that could keep his word. Four of his properties in Bel Air sold for a combined worth of $61.89 million, originally spending nearly $55 million on all those homes between 2015 and 2019. His overall profit is estimated at $19.2 million on the sales he got from those properties over the past couple of years. And that concludes our list of the most extra billionaire houses in the world right now. Which one caught your attention the most? Is it Bill Gates farmhouse with a racetrack just chilling in his backyard? Or Elon Musk's humble box home that still has crazy updated house gadgets? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like this video and subscribe for more awesome content.